Now, what did you think when he said they were going to pull out of Syria? Mm. Mm. Well, first of all, yeah, oh. uh, yeah, they just had that. Uh, we've we've lost some servicemen up in uh, northern Syria today. Um, today, as a result of a bombing up there, yeah, ISIS is taking credit for it. So there, there was a, a patrol. And we've you know, we've got roughly two thousand uh, personnel in Syria, and for the most part, what are they doing there? Well, they're providing uh, uh, guidance training. Um, they're assisting with uh, targeting, um, uh, and because the the air power is incredibly important over there right now, and so we are uh, our personnel are um, very much involved in selection of identification of targets uh, for the air campaign, and um, so we have these two thousand troops there. The president says he's going to withdraw, and then then some of the members of the administration start walking that dog back, right, and saying, eh, you know, it may not happen right away. But yeah, they, there was just a, a, a routine patrol. Uh, if there, there's never really such a thing as a routine patrol, but there's a patrol, um, and it got hit. Uh, the military is not releasing a lot of details because they haven't finished notifying next to Ken. But um, numbers so far indicate possibly four servicemen uh, lost. Um, and that's going to refocus, I think, Congress and hopefully the White House on what the hell's going on. The problem I've got with it is, in terms of withdrawing, look, we could stay there forever and not accomplish the task, right? If the task is to finally uh, defeat, whatever that means, uh, radical Islam, jihadists, uh, ISIS, uh, that shit's never going to happen. We're, not in our lifetimes. We're not going to get rid of that mentality, that, that ideology uh, the sort of what seems to be sometimes a bottomless well of recruits that they can draw on, their ability to morph into something else, uh, as Al Qaeda did, um, over depending on you know how successful we are in a campaign against them, they're like you know again it's 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 you know it's like you know you step on roaches over here and they pop up over here. So I think it's the the the, the biggest problem I've got is is that if we leave, we're not we're not. Um, you know, it's not like we're engaged in firefights every day with ISIS over there, right? We've left that to our allies. And our allies, in most part, up there in the north of Syria are the Kurds. And the Kurds have been our allies in one way or another in that part of the world for a long time now. And have played a very important role. And we have not been particularly honorable over the, over the years in terms of how sometimes we deal with them. If we walk out, if we leave, then uh, Erdogan... You know, the head of Turkey, I guarantee you will be in there in short order to kill as many of them as possible because that's just what uh, the Turkish authorities are going to do. They honestly, uh, they, they couldn't be happier with the announcement that we're going to leave because that opens the door for them to then go in there and from their perspective stamp out the Kurdish alliance that have been our allies. We're the only thing, our presence, that small presence – you know, not minimizing it, but, you know, 2,000 troops has been what's prevented them from doing that. So that's, that's the number one issue I've got. The other is I have no idea why any president or vice president or anybody in, in the government ever, not just this administration or any administration, ever thinks it's a, it's a good idea to say we've defeated the enemy uh, when we're talking about radical Islam. We've seen it over and over again from previous administration, from the Bush administration. Every time they say, you know, we, we're, we've done it. Mission we, accomplished. Mission accomplished. Are we, are we beating al-Qaeda? Are we beating ISIS? It's, it, it, there's no upside to saying that. Shut the fuck up. Stop saying things like that. It's, again, it's a self-inflicted wound that the – because now what's happening? Yeah, you know, the media is not focused on the fact that we've lost servicemen. They're focused on, well, just, uh, just the other day the president said we defeated ISIS and the vice president today said the same thing. Now look what's happened. There's no benefit to saying that, and and, and it's not going to happen anyway. So, so the yeah. goal of being over there is to assist our allies, but also to make sure that these radical factions don't become more powerful and then eventually affect us and attack us. And so we can keep an eye on what they're planning, what they're doing. Is that yeah. is that an accurate? Yeah, it is. It, it, it's 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 exactly it. I mean, if you look at uh, the reason we went into Afghanistan. Right, if we go back all those years, holy shit. Uh, and that was because the Taliban allowed um, al-Qaeda 
to establish a, a beachhead in there for training and for communications and for finance and for plotting and planning attacks outside of Afghanistan against us and, and our allies. That's why we went in there, aside from just seeking revenge, obviously, was to route that out. We then stayed, you know, thinking somehow we were going to turn the tide of history and create some pseudo-federal democracy there. Right. So that didn't, that didn't work. But the reason now for being in Syria is, yes, we, we have done a very solid job of beating back ISIS, removing their territory, and degrading their ability to operate. But we haven't stamped them out. We haven't defeated them yet. They're still there. And so we've been providing the support, in the, again, in the form of uh, weapons, hardware, gear, resources, training, and most importantly, uh, uh, com uh, combat air operations, air assaults. And um, that's been critically important. If we leave, I have no doubt that ISIS will find some way to rejuvenate. Maybe not in its current form, but and maybe not in the same exact locations, but they'll they'll morph because that's what they do. They just they just find a way to adapt. And we already know what's happened in the past. When we when we left Iraq, we saw what happened with the rise of ISIS. So, you know, I the, do I want to stay there forever? Absolutely not. But both sides can make a valid argument: one for staying, one for leaving. My I think the best argument for staying, in the in the, certainly the short and midterm is to ensure that Erdogan doesn't slaughter a bunch of Kurds who have been working with us uh, honorably. Um, you know, I, I, I don't know how else to say that. So we'll see what happens. I, so I the best argument to stay is to protect the people that helped us, mm -hmm. to protect yeah. our allies. Yeah, yeah. But, so it's not in our best interest, it's in the best interest of our commitment and our agreement with them. Well, is, is it in our national security interest to, to stay in Syria, for example? Look, right. There was this – there's so many levels to this thing, and I'm, I'm sure right now everybody's listening going, oh, for fuck's sake, he's not going to disappear down a rabbit hole. But, but uh, yes, I am. Uh, for a while there, there was this, this, this idea, this, this ridiculous pie-in-the-sky thought that we were going to get the Russians out of Syria. It's never going to fucking happen. Russians – the only port for their Black Sea fleet is in Syria. You know, we're, we're, they've been there for decades and decades, along with Iran. We're net, we, it's not going to happen unless we want to go to war with Russia to kick them out of Syria. That's not in our best interest. So is it in our national security interest to keep troops there to fight and try to minimize Russian involvement in Syria? I, I, I don't think so because we're not going to shift them off that dime without going directly at them. Right? It's in their best interest to stay. And every nation acts in its own best interest. Are we going to shift Iran? Are we going to keep Iran from forming? Too late for that. They've already got a beachhead there that they're not going to give up. And so you got to set those issues aside and say, well, what the hell are we doing there? Are we, are we there simply because we have to, you know, finish the fight against ISIS? Well, you know, at some point you got to say, you know, I guess. I wouldn't say that we've, we've defeated them, but I think we would say, yeah, we've degraded them sufficiently that we can, we can now operate from elsewhere. You know, we can operate from forward bases in, in other locations where we're currently, you know, based. Great. But again, I keep coming back to the same thing that, you know, we've, we've worked with the Kurds. Is this in our national security interest? Well, no, I guess it's not. But there's something that tells me it's the right thing to do. And, and maybe sometimes that's enough, you know, that we should, we should not let Erdogan have his way. And also long term, wouldn't it be in our best interest to honor our commitment and make sure that we protect our allies so that in the future other allies would be more willing to cooperate with us because they understand that once we're committed, we're fully committed and we stay. Yeah, and we stand for something. Yeah. So what's the benefit of getting out? Like the people that think we should get out. Like when, yeah. when Trump said he wanted to pull out, like what's his thinking? I don't think it runs particularly deep. I think it just, I think it's, you know, uh, during the campaign, he talked about, you know, stopping the endless wars. Right. And that's a very popular concept, right? No, again, nobody wants right. to, I mean, what the hell? I mean, and, and so it will be interesting to see you know, what today's sad, you know, event does up on Capitol Hill. You know, do they, mm -hmm. do they rethink their, the, the withdrawal or do they accelerate it? Say, well, like, you know. like when they had the buildup in Iraq mm -hmm. and it was highly criticized, but then it was very effective. Like it did do what they intended it to do. Right. And right. it did knock back the enemy. If they decided to ramp it up worldwide, mm -hmm. 
would that be a solution to any of this or is the opposite is it better to actually ramp up our defenses domestically mm -hmm. and just stay the fuck away from all these people yeah uh, well eventually you can only i mean you can only do so much i think on the domestic front um right. and then uh, you know if if they gain sufficient ability and strength. We've seen that from past attacks. I think then, then they'll come after you. They'll come after us. And that's just the way I suppose that's going to work. But I don't disagree with the notion because it, it is hard pressed. I, look, I wouldn't have stayed in Afghanistan, frankly. I don't care whether they've increased their literacy rate by 2% or built another road or whatever. It doesn't matter. They don't, they don't know what the hell we're trying to sell them, right? So I don't, uh, I, I'm, I'm not against the notion of getting out, but this one's a tough one. I guess that's what I'm saying is, is the, the Syria issue is I'm real conflicted on because of the Kurds and, and what they've done on our behalf in the past and, and how they've suffered and knowing uh, going years and years back, you know, having dealt with that issue uh, two and a half decades ago, a long time ago with the Turks and the Kurds, knowing how vicious that could be. Uh, and I don't trust Erdogan as far as I could throw him out a window. So... You know, I think there's a problem there that we need to we need to make sure we've talked through thoroughly before we just say, sure, let's get them out of there. You know, what the hell? You know, we shouldn't have them there. We shouldn't be there. But like everything else, look, it's 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 complicated. You would like to think that they're having conversations like this up on Capitol Hill, right? You know, between the the the, the parties, uh, the Republicans and the Dems. But I don't think they are. 